My name is Lisa Mulligan. I'm an otolaryngologist at the Everett Clinic. Being in the field of ears, nose, and throat, um, obviously, you know, there's um, a wide variety of procedures that can be done uh, depending on which of those anatomical uh, structures are involved. Um, but for instance, um, ear surgery uh, might involve repairing hearing loss or uh, in children. The most common procedure that we do in children's ears would be uh, place ear tubes uh, for the purposes of treating infection and improving hearing and clearing fluids. Um, nasal surgeries oftentimes involve uh, increasing the um, breathing passages or uh, relieving blockages to the sinuses so the sinuses can become healthy. And then uh, throat procedures um, may involve um, uh, biopsies of growths or um, sometimes you know, removal, removal of masses um, that may be uh, benign or neoplastic in nature. Uh, and this um, involves a wide variety of different kinds of technologies. A professional accomplishment that um, I think I'm uh, fairly proud of is has been my ability to uh, go on with uh, continuing medical education. You know, having been in practice for many years, in fact, there's been a lot of changes that have taken place in my field over the years. I've made a very, very concerted effort to attend conferences and courses and um, you know, surgical seminars so that I'm certain that I'm delivering treatments to my patients that are uh, state-of-the-art and cutting-edge and, um, and that also helps keep me kind of in excited and invigorated um, about my field, you know, that there are new treatments available for patients or new surgical techniques that are more effective than those previous and actually there's a lot of more minimally invasive um, surgical procedures available nowadays. And that's an area of my particular interest because um, minimally invasive surgical procedures tend to um, allow patients to have less discomfort, um, heal up more quickly, and, um, and then they're you know, pretty happy with the outcomes as well. So continuing medical education has really been something I've put a lot of effort into. Being that, what I do is um, help people with quality of life issues, which sometimes might receive less emphasis uh, in uh, other settings where people are focused on, you know, let's get the blood pressure down, let's get the blood sugar under control. Um, things like uh, trouble breathing or trouble hearing may be, uh, you know, less of a priority. Um, but once they come to my office, you know, it's my, my main priority. And I think patients really appreciate somebody who's interested in spending time sorting out their quality of life problem. And they're very, very grateful, you know, when I'm able to help them with that.